Yo, what is going on? You're checking out QGN HQ. My name is Chris. Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're checking out a new mechanical keyboard. We're checking out the Echo Neon 3061. It is a 60% form factor board with fully programmable keys as well as a Bluetooth capability. And spoiler alert, it's kind of right behind me on the desk, just a little blurred out back there. Maybe you guys could already see it. It has a really nice neon themed PBT keycap set, which is definitely the major selling point in the board, hence the name Neon. Uh, but it's priced very, very well, and I think you guys out there will really like this board. So with that being said, let's get into it. So inside the box, uh, we're going to be greeted with a few things here. One obviously being the keyboard itself that comes with a dust cover. We also have a keycap puller here. Uh, which is always cool to add one of these. Then we have a USB type C cable, which is purple uh, to match the keyboard. Unfortunately, it's not braided, but it is type C, which is great, a nice fast connection. And uh, last but not least, we have a few extra accent keycaps to uh, really bring this neon theme to life here. So first look at the keyboard itself. I must say this really is a nice looking keycap set. Uh, you can see here that it's two different shades of purple. If you look closely, the bigger keys are a darker purple compared to the main keys on the board itself. And even the font uh, color is different. If you look at like the tab caps lock and shift, you'll see it here with that red font where the WASD and on all have that nice uh, light blue. So it really does vibe and the colors really do pop on this keyboard. Absolutely no flex in the board. It does sit in a full plastic case here. And on the back of the board, you'll notice you have a little on off button that will uh, trigger your Bluetooth if you want to use this wirelessly, as well as multiple uh, feet options here and a few rubber feet as well to keep the board from moving around on your desk. Uh, overall, it is a very nice looking 60% keyboard. Uh, real quick, going over the added keycaps that they give you with this keyboard, uh, they do give you a quite a few, but what's really weird to me is majority of these keycaps really don't function with this keyboard that you just can't use them with this board um you can see here like the enter key is for a completely different layout as well as the arrow keys uh i don't really know what the point of adding these were i, I don't understand the, the thought process behind that but i guess it's cool to have these extra keycaps for a different board um but for the sake of the video the only keycaps i'm going to be using here regardless are going to be probably the escape key the space bar as well as the enter and backspace so give it that little extra flair when it comes to the neon look. So let's dive a little bit closer into this keycap set. The keycaps are a double shot PBT, which is great because that means they're super durable and they won't fade over time, which is absolutely perfect. So we don't lose that vibrancy of this really cool neon theme. Now, I did mention earlier that this keyboard comes with different colored accent keycaps, which are also double shot PBT. I went ahead and I threw on the escape, spacebar, enter, and backspace key to really bring this neon theme to life. And I must say, it's a really nice looking board. All of the colors just really pop. And if any of you guys out there are keyboard enthusiasts, you might remember the very popular GMK laser keycap set. And well, you can see it's pretty clear here that Akko was inspired to say the least, and they delivered their very own colorway without that premium price point. Now, I must say, all the legends on this board are very much in sync with no misprints or out of place legends, all except one, that backspace accent key. I don't really know what happened here. Did someone maybe sneeze at the factory and hit the wrong legend? I don't really know. Uh, but you can very clearly see that the A in space is just completely out of whack. I don't know if it's just my board or all boards in general, but yeah, it's super noticeable and it's kind of annoying. Now, speaking about the legends, they obviously aren't a shine through. Uh, that would just take away from the neon theme, so it just makes sense. Now, this keyboard does have RGB backlighting, but the only RGB light you're going to see is whatever bleeds through the sides and under the caps. Unfortunately, they chose to go with a black plate under these keycaps instead of the normal white plate, so that black plate has very little reflection and the LED just feels very dim and underwhelming. So completely non-related to the review, I just had to add some artisan keycaps to this board. Every keyboard, in my opinion, needs some unique artisans to give it more character. This purple Cheshire Cat is from a vendor known as Systematic Caps, and the purple matches this board perfectly. And though there's really no orange and green in this board, I still feel these awesome Polyworld Caps from Wrath Caps just have to have a home here on this keyboard. The vibrant colors from the orange and green still give me that neon vibe. And no, 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 this is not sponsored. I just love to shine some more light on these artists and cap makers. I will link everything down below in the description. Like always, if you wanted to check out some of these artists and cap makers work, go show them some love. 
When it comes to switches, this board is only sold with Gatoron switches. They offer your choice of Gatoron pink, orange, green, white, or yellow. I went ahead and I chose the Gatoron orange switch for this board. Normally, I'm more of a linear switch guy, but I wanted to change it up a bit, and I chose the orange since I haven't had a chance to check these switches out before. Now, the orange switch is a tactile, but not too over-the-top tactile switch, if that makes any sense to you. These orange switches have an actuation point of 2 millimeters, an actuation force of 55 grams with a bottom out travel of four millimeters. They feel pretty good. The tactile bump isn't too noticeable compared to other tactile switches I've used in the past. And here is some more info on the other switches that are available for this board. If you guys want to figure out which switch fits your typing preference. Overall, I enjoyed the typing experience on this keyboard. It was very comfortable to the touch, and that slight tactile bump was not too harsh. Now, when it comes to the sound feedback on this board, it's a little hollow to be honest, but that was kind of to be expected since it's a pre-built board in a full plastic case. Keep in mind, this PCB is not a hot swappable PCB. So remember that if you plan on customizing this board in any way, it's gonna take a little bit more elbow grease to desolder these switches if you want to maybe change them or lube whatever switch you chose to add to your board. The stabilizers. Well, they're not the best. They have some rattle to them. And to be honest, keyboard companies these days should just make it a standard to pre-lube stabs on pre-built boards. It's really inexpensive. And I have personally worked with other keyboard companies in the past that have done this. And though it's always not the best or been perfect, but I can tell you right now that some lube is always better than none. Also, when typing on this board, I just don't see a need to use the added feet stands. The board sits pretty comfortably at its base height, and I don't have any strain on my wrist when typing. But as you can see, as I raise the board to the middle point using the smaller foot stand, uh, it sits significantly higher than a normal board would. And with the foot fully extended, I found the typing experience to be pretty unpleasant. Now, obviously, this is all just personal preference, but it's definitely worth mentioning. When it comes to the board's features, it's pretty straightforward. Currently, I can't find any software for this board, none at all, so everything is done through the keyboard itself, and the included manual has all of the keyboard navigation mapped out for you. But let's go over some of them, starting with the RGB backlight settings. They have a total of 18 different lighting effects that are all pretty underwhelming due to that black underplate. You could obviously change the brightness as well, but at its brightest, it's still pretty dim. You can also slow or speed up the light animations on this board. Bluetooth mode. It's nothing too new, very easy to set up and to connect to other devices. This keyboard can memorize four different Bluetooth devices that you can easily switch to at any time just by turning on the switch on the back of the keyboard to on. And then you just press function plus whatever corresponding key you have saved, which is E, R, T, or Y. The keyboard comes stock with a 1800 milliamp battery and will last a lot longer with the RGB lighting set to off. I have no issues or lag when using the Bluetooth and the battery can last me about five days with decent usage. When it comes to macros, since there's no software, you are forced to do it all through the keyboard itself. And I'm gonna tell you right now, it is pretty miserable. It can all be found in the manual. And honestly, I would love to see some software implementation in the future to make our lives a bit easier. Now, this keyboard will retail for $109.99, and I feel that is a really fair price point for what this board has to offer. Like always, everything will be linked down below in the description, so if you guys want to pick up one of these keyboards, you can go ahead and do so. Well, guys, that is the Echo Neon 3061. What do you guys think of the keyboard? Is it right for you? What do you think of the whole Neon set? Please let me know down below in the comment section. 
Uh, a little reminder, I do stream now on twitch.tv slash QGNHQ every Thursday and Saturday at 8 p.m. Eastern. You can find me there just chatting, opening up new products, testing things out, playing games. So stop by if you have any questions, just want to hang out. That'd be really awesome. And if you guys are new here to the channel, please consider subscribing. Give the video a huge thumbs up if you liked it. Maybe share it with a friend and uh, join the official Discord channel. That's a mouthful. All right, guys, I'll see you on the next one. Peace out.